Hey everyone, welcome to Crystal in the Kitchen. Today I'm going to make easy chicken taquitos, a simple recipe. So I'm just going to show you how I do it my way. So you can start with a rotisserie chicken, which I already bought pre-cooked at the market. I didn't bake this myself, then it wouldn't be easy and simple. These are for my toppings, the salsa, the sour, Mexican sour cream, the queso fresco, and the cotija cheese. And then of course tortillas and oil. I'm using olive oil, you can use vegetable oil, canola oil. So let's get this started. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now with clean hands, I'm going to debone the chicken. Um, what I like to do first is I'll just grab a knife and start slicing the chicken breast first. All right, so I'm gonna cut the breast and just start shredding it. And I'm gonna take away the skin Once you cut into it, it's easy. I'm gonna get a separate, separate dish to put my shredded chicken in. So grab a dish, a bowl, just something to put the chicken in and start to shred away. Okay, so I finished shredding my chicken. If you have more people to feed, I would suggest you getting a bigger chicken. I got the smaller chicken. And what I'm gonna do now is roll up my tortillas and fill them up with the shredded chicken. All right, so what I have to do before I fry up the tortillas is preheat them on the stove so they don't break because as you can see, they're, it's gonna be hard to roll them so you gotta soften them up. And by how you're gonna soften them up is by putting them on the stove and heating them up. I've already filled my pan with oil and I'm gonna get that started and started heating up on a low heat. So as I'm preparing my tacos, I can start dipping them in. All right. Let's turn that to a low heat. I flip the tortillas with my hand, but if you feel and I put three at a time, obviously, because that's all the room, that's all I have room for. You want to do it at a low heat because A, you don't want to burn yourself and you don't want to burn the tortilla. Can use metal tongs but these are um, heat resistant up to I believe it said 500 so it will they will be okay to use and these are the Cuisinart tongs the black ones I got these at um Ross if I'm not mistaken okay so they're pretty good to go I'm gonna place them on my plate put some put another three on there and I'm gonna show you. So I have my tortillas here, my shredded chicken. It's already been seasoned at the market, so I'm not gonna add any salt. If you want to, you can go ahead and do that, but I would recommend tasting it first to make sure that the it doesn't need any salt. I would say about two to three pinches of this shredded chicken and just slowly roll and as so it's tight there you go and even after you've heated up your tortilla they may still be prone to rip a little and that's okay as long as you're gonna dip it in quickly into the oil if you don't feel comfortable multitasking in the kitchen like you need to have things pre-prepared and you don't like having multiple things cooking at the same time that's totally okay that'll come with experience not that I'm the most experienced but I'm comfortable enough to multitask and cook different things all at once so again I'm gonna grab a little bit of my chicken two or three pinches unless it you know I don't like them too full but if you do you can put as much as you like you grab the tortilla, fold it over, and just roll. That's it. This part down first. There you go. 
again. For those of you in the nosebleed section, I'm just kidding. Um, you want to hold it tight, roll it. It's like rolling a, oh, well, I won't say that, a cigar perhaps. <laughs> this one I heated up a little too much, but it's okay. Not everything is always going to be perfect in the kitchen, and you just got to go with the flow. There you go. Roll it up. I'll say the lapel. Okay, so you're going to repeat for the baked taquitos, you're going to repeat the process as far as heating up your tortilla on the stove top. And then you can heat up as many as six nine at a time I just like to do it as I go um, the point is to get them warm and they will stay warm the heat stays warm stays insulated in the tortillas because they're stacked together so again I'm gonna grab my chicken and these are gonna be the baked ones and it's quite simple so I have my olive oil cooking spray in this container you have to pump it in order to get it to spray the oil I'm gonna spray inside my casserole dish so the tortillas don't stick. And I'm just gonna put them in like so, really close to one another. I'm gonna just spray a little bit of oil, uh, olive oil on top so they get that nice crisp and don't dry out. So I'm gonna finish. Like I said, just to coat them with a little bit of oil so they don't dry out and they have a nice crispy texture to them. And what I'm going to do is pop them at the, in the oven for 15, 20 minutes at 400 degrees. So now that I have put my taquitos in the oven, I'm gonna check on the ones that I'm actually frying. <laughs> Don't wanna forget about those. As you see, they have a nice crisp to them. That's how I like them and that's how you want them. You want your stove to heat the pan at a, I would say you want your um, heat to be at a medium. If it starts to, to pop the oil, you can lower the, the heat, which I'm gonna do right now. Okay, so these are almost done. They're just finishing frying up. As you see, they're nice and crispy. I'm gonna put them on my plate that I put a napkin on to absorb any excess oil. I'm trying to be healthy here, even if we are eating somewhat fatty foods, because this is fried. Okay, these taquitos are almost done. I'm going to start pulling them out and I'm shaking off any excess oil and I'm going to put them on top of the napkin and that will further absorb any excess oil. I just try to keep it as healthy as I can. I'm going to be getting an air fryer and trying these in the air fryer. Maybe I'll make a video on that. And then I'm going to plate them and put all the yummy toppings, the cheese, the salsa, and voila, we'll be done.